Hey friends, hey family, mi gente. Today's video is an updated routine of my twist out. This is something that is working for me in terms of my natural hair and being high porosity. I don't know if you guys know that I have high porosity hair. It's fine, it's thin. I have medium density, which means that it's not too thin. Um, I can give that effect that I have like voluminous thicker hair. So <clears throat> in today's video, I'm going to show you guys my updated routine. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, currently I don't have anything on my hair. Uh, well, I do. Okay, so I washed my hair with a co-wash that I'm going to come with a review on. And it is the Long & Luxe Grow Wash by As I Am. And um, I'm not going to give it anything away. The other thing I used after that, rinsing that out, I used the Apple Sorghum. Oh, before that. Okay, so I used the Grow Wash. Then I went in with a deep conditioner. This is the Fructis Smoothing Treatment One Minute Hair Mask. I am coming with a review on this one as well, but I have talked about this one and it's almost gone. It smells amazing. It's cruelty free and vegan from Garnier. And then the Apple Sorghum. Unfortunately, this is being discontinued but it has a lot of great things I'm almost feeling like I want to not necessarily I want to like do a DIY dupe for this because it is so good and we can see how it's priced if we wanted to like redo our product and then I went in with my Sotanicals Knot Sauce and I put this on over my hair and let it air dry like this was to soak up like all of the thing all of you know the product I will say that the hair turban is it cuts the drying time in half my hair still is a bit damp but it is okay because when twisting your hair I want it to either be completely dry or damp okay so the first thing I'm gonna do is part my hair now I'm not doing a perfect part and let me just tell you guys why because I know some people um, think that it's a big thing to have like perfect parts but my high porosity thin hair when I want my hair to be voluminous and I don't want those spaces in between I have an issue with perfect parts so I am putting on my leave-in now we're going to talk about these products these are some of my favorites but it is not about the product here it is totally about my technique So if you notice, I detangle first and I'm doing kind of like a lazy flat twist. That's, that's exactly what it is. It's not a perfect flat twist. It's gathering hair and then I move on. I don't put more than 10 twists in my hair just because um, I when I'm going for volume, I want the twist to be larger and not necessarily small twists because you'll get more definition with the small twist, which will look like a wash and go on me. But I actually want my hair to be full and voluminous. So if you notice, I am twisting the back and I detangle, I'm gonna show you guys in a minute, but detangling is a huge part. And then I also go back and apply product to the ends of my hair. So I'm just, if you notice, I am just doing a part, not a perfect part again and you do want to put your hair you want to section it off because if you notice watch in a couple of minutes you're going to see that I miss some parts but you definitely want to pin it away if you want to retain moisture you definitely want to do that as well but if you see I'm using a wide tooth detangling comb I'm not trying to re-wet the twist I want to make it damp where it's pliable and I can redefine the curl in my hair I want to make the curl look looser I have very tightly coiled hair and so this is the reason why I use um, I put my twist in so let's talk about how damp my hair is it's either lightly damp to dry when I'm applying the products because I'm putting 
moisture back into my hair when I do the twist. And this one, again, is another flat, lazy twist. I want to lay down the hairs, and so I want to lay it down from the root. And again, I go from an inch, and then I take a little bit of the curling cream or my styler, and I curl the bottom again, just because I want some extra moisture. Now from the top, you definitely want to twist in the direction that you want your hair to lay. If you notice, like I like a side part, so you see the side part. Um, unfortunately, my hair, I feel like, is not thick enough to wear and twist alone. Not like this at all. Now, let me talk about the top part. I want to be very meticulous when I talk about this because I think this is one of the most important parts of me when I twist my hair. If you notice, I put a twist in the center of my hair because I don't want to make a part down the middle because when it comes to filling in kind of like the holes of where my hair is, it makes it the it makes it very hard to hide the parts. So that's why I put a twist in the center and then I split the back. I want that to hide the parts because when I start to use a pick, I wanna make sure that it's looking voluminous. And how many twists I have in my hair? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's usually around the amount of twists that I have in my hair. And yes, I do retwist my hair um, every other night. You, I used to do it every night, but it's every other night now, but I actually missed a string. So you need to like go back, you know, just don't leave the string out because the definition is really important with that. I'm putting in my slap cap on my slap cap and y'all, I let my hair completely dry. It, that is so important. Let it completely dry. The slap cap is there to give you kind of like a style you know give you kind of like that boho chic look so i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up please subscribe and i'll see you guys on the next one ciao